The return to Crucible level 8 is here. Welcome back to Peglin. You know what's up. I mean, this game has had just incredible, incredible updates lately. And I'm trying to make do with the fewer coins. It hasn't been a problem, at least in the previous time. And well, I want that to continue to be the case. Farm the coins, get some sick shop upgrades, and just have a lot of fun bouncing bowls around. Like, what is this slime going to do? Kill me? No, we ain't. Wow. Actually, I almost got all of them. None of these orbs interest me. Good news is I can just save my coins for next time. I get a free chest to the left here. I'll just take it, not chance it any coins. I can never complain about a free chest. Oh, it could be this kind of build. It's actually way easier to thin to win with the new update. So round guard is a low amount of um, orbs in the deck synergy. If I have a small deck, and we'll be honest, it's not about the size, it's about how you use it, then the round guard will be insane. So I want to thin to win as much as I can. Get a tree. I believe if I shake the tree, I get the egg. Is that right? Yep. Now, unfortunately, I can't thin out the egg, but oh well. Now, hopefully I actually get a battle. Oh, God, not in that way. Definitely meant in a battle going to the left. <laughs> I, I should be careful of what I ask for, truly. Well, now it's just back to farming coins. Hopefully I can get some bombs to blow up these pea shooters. Good enough-ish. Maybe one of these bombs off to the side, though. Perfect. That's all you need. Yes. All right, got most of them. I could go restorb again, or I could just keep saving up. Frankly, I've been kind of crushing it lately, so why bother? I do want to go to the right. I'm okay that I missed that coin, because I did want to go question mark, question mark, chest no matter what it takes. This will be a tough one, actually. I'll probably get a little hurt here. Well, unless if I keep getting baller shots like this. It's a great start to this. I would like my crit ball back, though. Hopefully he can give it to me. Because these next few shots are going to suck. Or refresh. Oh, missing that refresh hurts. Okay, so I don't take damage? No. I'm one off from not taking damage. That's a shame. I'm gonna hope I can refresh. Actually, no, I'm not gonna be greedy. I'm just gonna take the crit. Because more often than not, I don't refresh, so I'll just take the extra damage. Actually, getting the refresh is hard. At least I can finally do it now. Missing just one tiny little piece in there. No big deal. And I think I'm actually gonna shoot this way, believe it or not. I know I miss out on a crit. A whole crit, mind you. Um, by hoping I could fall into the refresh? Nope, didn't happen. Yes, that was what I was looking for. Ha ha ha! Thank you, Round Guard, for saving me 22 damage. Love it. Let's refresh. And now, well, I'll get there when I get there. Might take a bit. Hopefully not much longer, because this is kind of hurting. Skip. That's right. I've got only a few shots left here. Please hit that crit. Oh, that would have been so nice. It's okay. It's a baller shot, though. Very likely I close it out right now. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, all right. I wouldn't have died, but, you know, I didn't like where I would have been. I guess I'll take an ice circle. First one I kind of want. Maybe I could upgrade it a little, too, just so I can actually start getting somewhere. Critical hit starts piercing. I don't think I need the heal because I have the Healy Boots. Yeah, two additional refreshes is sick. Unfortunately, Healy Boots won't help me that much. I guess it doesn't actually matter where I end up. I just need to heal. So just give me a couple things of HP, whatever. Still don't hate it. Yeah, this will be fine. Oof. Right, it's all okay if I can hit a bomb. Nope. Damn it. Now I can, just a little too late. Still not a bad play right now. Yeah, I guess I have nothing to worry about. And hey, I mean, you know, the egg could heal me if I really am desperate enough. I don't think I am, but there could exist a world in which I'm desperate. Enough for that. That was a terrible shot. Surely this will live. Or this will kill. I wouldn't mind if I lived one more turn, but only one. Bully ball, I'm not doing self-damage, unfortunately. That's not the build. I will upgrade, though. Get a cool 4-8 and try to get a bit of healing here. Now, I desperately need this chest, but I still will try to heal a little. Eh, even two. Fine. 
Uh, every shot's a crit, one below 30% health, or plus one plus zero for every crit on the board. I don't think I'll be, well, I might be dropping a 30% health. Yeah, but I don't want a build that builds around being at low health. But does that matter? No, it doesn't matter because I need to get through the first floor or the first act. So I guess I will take Knife's Edge. Now I can try to get lucky and detonate some bombs. Nope. I'm gonna take Heal 6-1 Reloading. I got some cool reload synergy. I mostly wanted the healing. I just gotta make sure I make it to this shop. It's of the utmost importance to me. With that being said, let's do it. I don't think I'm gonna crit. Well, there's a chance I crit. This might work. Oh, I was a little off. I tried. Um, yeah, that's tough to visualize. So now it kind of comes down to this. Now I want to reload as soon as possible. I would really like to hit the bomb. Any bomb. Oh, what a terrible shot. What an awful, awful shot. You know what I should be doing? Attacking this. Trying to hit a bomb. Nope, can't do it. At least I get a heal on no damage taken. You know what? I could go Ice Circle and then just start piercing. Yeah, let's do it. That's a good one. Hurts only a little bit. I can handle it. There we go. That's the shot I was hoping for. That's the shot I was really hoping for. There we go. Ooh, Inferno Level 2 Refresh Orb? See, I want a thin deck. Just keep it thin. So now I just need healing more than anything. Good. Ah, uh, can't skip to the egg. If I could hit some bombs, one more would be perfect. Nope. Okay. I'm probably not critting here. We'll, however, try to detonate this bomb, and I do. Perfect. Well, sometimes I crit. No, that's okay, though. That's good as is, too. Maybe more ice circles? I like it because it pierces. Now, granted, it makes my shop a little weaker, and maybe I should have thought more about that. Because I guess I get one fewer relic now. I don't think that matters. Wait, I'm about to get so much healing. Hold on. Well, that one didn't count. Please give me a ton of healing. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my god, that's wonderful. And a few coins as well. The main thing... Oh, it's 30 to remove an orb? Dude, they must have changed it. Oh, I can also now get a relic. So I thin always. <laughs> refresh the board on every reload. I think I'd rather cookie. I actually have a lot of refreshes. So I can get some good healing off of it. Cookie's just a wonderful relic. Yeah, this is awesome. It's 30 to remove an orb. That's so good. I want whatever's in the question mark. It could be something very fun. Oh, it's just a fight. All right, fair enough. All right, regular attack already pierces one enemy. So I guess that doesn't matter to me. Yeah, but maybe I could have, you know, still crit for more damage. I don't know what the right play was there. Probably not that. Oh, good God. What a terrible shot. Now, the main thing is I want a crit to happen eventually. Well, right now, preferably, actually. Please crit right now. Oh, oh, yes. That's exactly what I needed. Perfect. Now I want to farm this, because you deal, what, two or three damage? Two, yeah. I can actually theoretically heal the full now. I might do it. Well, no I won't, because uh, this guy's gonna die. Maybe just try to get the last coin or something? Nope, got nothing. Okay, I want nothing from this. Not even a nice circle. I just want to save my money for the shops. Perfect. Damn you, egg. I'm probably not even going to get the damn chef, so it's probably not even going to matter. But I think this fight should be a walk in the park. Of course, this uh, knife's edge is now and will ever be useless. I don't think that's too much of a concern to me. So what if I have one useless relic? I guess I'm just missing out on one damage per shot, which, you know, is nothing to scoff at. That was a terrible run out for what could have been amazing. You just gotta deal with it sometime. Alright. Uh, I'm probably not critting here. Yeah, I don't trust myself to crit. I'll just take the little extra damage here. Extra non-crit damage. It's okay. Okay, this is a good shot. This is what I've been waiting for, right? Eh, good enough. Sometimes you just need a shot to do a few simple things. 
deal enough to get rid of all the pea shooters, and that's all I care about. That shot just needs to hit the refresh, and it did. So I'm happy. This will just have to exist. Maybe hit some bombs. Yeah, it's okay. Mole's gonna die soon anyway. I'm not worried. Sincerely not worried. Not even slightly. Almost there. This is the one. I guess I could have tried to farm coins because I knew it was going to die. want to keep the deck thin. I will upgrade my ice circle, though. Probably should have done that before. Sapper sack is tempting since I have so much healing. Oh, one disc ultimate power might be better, though. Yeah, 2x damage. I have so much healing. I can heal out of this thing's damage. Yeah, bring me the ultimate power. Okay, I have the non-wall. So a healing build is actually good here. And I have Ice Circles, which are good AoE for this floor. I have a lot to love. It's just going to take a long time to kill. Oh, I did get Dagorb. All right, fair enough. I going to say some bombs would be nice. There we go. Finally, Ice Circle. This is what I've been waiting for. This can hopefully single-handedly save me the run. That's enough, right? Oh, yeah. I love it. Could go Elector Magnet. Let me look at the map. I need shops. I have to go left. Even though I'd pass up two whole chests. Is that really worth it? I mean, I want a thin to win so badly. For the record, the better play is to go for the two whole chests. But I'm not thinking about better play. I'm thinking about the shop. Can definitely afford to upgrade an orb. There we go. And I don't need to add anything new. Just make sure I go left. Like this. Oh, it's the mini wall. This guy... I probably should have aimed that better. It is very punishing to heal builds. Very punishing. Now, I'm going to be thinking a lot about the decision about going to the shop over taking two free relics. Because obviously two free relics is a much better play than going to the shop. But that's not the point of my decision. The only reason I made the play was because I am on a mission for thinning out my deck manually. And the only way to actually achieve that is by going to the shop. If I was only making the decision based off of what was the better play, obviously I would be going for two relics, but I don't really consider that much when playing this game. I mean, of course, every now and then I have to think about what the most optimal decision is, but most of the time it just kind of comes down to what's the best way I can expand a build. I really want to get that reload build going, and the only way to do that is via the shop. No, it's not a terrible play. I mean, if I had an event where I had a choice between adding two relics or removing the orb. I would at least think about it for a bit. I would probably still take the two relics. Probably, mm, I guess that just depends. There are some scenarios in which I probably would remove an orb, mostly if I have a bunch of relics. And I guess I will get a relic from the shop too. I mean, there's a lot to like. Either way, it's all about trying to get the reload synergy going. I think it'll be fun if it works out. Plus I got Wand of Skultimate Power. Basically double damage. I'm actually doing great against this wall, but I do think I've been getting some lucky run out. Let's see if this can continue. Well, maybe I could have put a little th more thought into that shot. That's fine. 100 damage is still pretty good for stone. Because I'm now about to enter the point of pain. Well, at least I crit and hit a bomb and refresh. I mean, there's some things to like. It doesn't hurt me here. It simply just patted me on the head. Actually quite friendly. Ooh, that bounced differently, but it's still critted. Talk about a good run up there. Okay. Likely only getting hurt once. I gotta be smart. Don't let this shot go to waste. Uh-oh. It might go to waste. Okay, I'm getting padded twice. Brutal. Oh, three times. Okay. Well, hey, uh, <laughs> the knife's edge is worthwhile all of a sudden. That's crazy. Well, it's a guaranteed kill. So now I just want to hit some refreshes for healing. I hit none. Wow, that was scary. Am I in danger? Eh, we'll see what happens with this regular fight. You know what? I'm not gonna heal. I'm gonna brave it. Orb receive, receive plus one, plus two for every following connected orb of the same type. Actually seems pretty good for my stones right now. And plus, I don't think I've ever taken this, so why not? All right, give me a little healing. Sure. Did I get sculptmitted? Did I lose HP because of that? I might have actually. Oh, it is possible to die in between, huh? All right, so my goal right now is to get inside one of these bricks. Once I do, massive damage awaits. Didn't happen. Okay, that's fine. Every shot's a crit, though, so 
Um, what do I care? <laughs> Things are fine here. Let's just continue. Oh, I need the shop. I mean, there's no way I end up going to the right or left, right? This is shop territory. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I can't just get in here. <gasps> no. Okay, good, 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 good. Just get in there. Oh my god, how does it keep doing this? Stop bouncing out. For the love of god. Just stay in there. Fuck! This is insane. How do I get it to just stop going so fast? At least I'm getting coins. It's going so fast. I need to like slow down and chill. Jesus. Just stay in there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. This would have been such a waste. Anyway, I guess I get fewer connected orbs, but whatever. I still thin to win. And what do I want here? More bombs. Deal full damage to enemies with resistances. Could be interesting. Although, um, I don't think that's actually going to be that necessary. Because Ice Circle is just going to pierce through everything. And the only real resistance I have to care about is the shield. I could do plus three bombs. I could also have a refresh move. I have a lot of refreshes. Oh, speaking of, maybe I should take a refresh orb, huh? For a ton of healing. Yeah, that does kind of make sense, huh? The only reason I want to take refresh orb is because I'm at low HP right now. Maybe I should stop being a little bitch and heal up like a man. Yeah, but I could actually die. I'll take bomb baton. I think tactical tree is fair. Or I could just save my gold for the next shop. You know what? Save it for the next shop. This is only okay at best. Oh, thank God. Ah, yes. Thin to win. What a choice I have here. Almost all stones gone. I have to heal like crazy now. So I start by refreshing. And at least I get to eliminate them all with one turn. Almost all. Egg isn't going to really work for me. Keep the healing going. Good. It's all okay. I don't need anything here. Let's continue. I think I'll just send it left if I'm lucky enough. It should just be fine. I get a ton of healing now. Look at this. Well worth it. More post-battle healing or refreshing moving after every shot. Oh, well, this is pretty bad with the thin deck, huh? So let's take the refresh moving. And I wanted to go to the shop. Not going to risk trying to get a second item because I know how unlikely that is. Oh, wrong peglin. I didn't get chef. So what? I guess I just send the egg next chance I get now. Also, I don't want the chip. Even though the chip's been improved, it's more like I don't want to lose 2 HP in order to get it. Actually, this question mark could be the chef for all I know, so maybe I won't chance it just yet. <gasps> Plus one orb discard is insane. That's exactly what I was looking for. I This is perfect, actually. I could afford this and a remove orb, which is going to be my level two stone, even though it's just fine. Goodbye. Oh, we're getting thin, thin now. This is ethereal peglin. Well, I guess I get to upgrade my dag orb. So this is actually a little bit scary here. I mean, I have to get rid of the egg. I guess I'll just take my five heal and then drop low. Oh, 10 heal, right, it's ultimate power. Yeah, so I can, now I can double discard heal and then I can double discard, try to hit the refresh. Nailed it. Now if I could just heal reasonably past 30, I'm happy. I'm actually not sure what the plan is here. I think I just keep going ice circles. I think so. That's kind of scary. I'm actually not healing for as much as I'd hoped. Oh, wait, this is fine. I'm about to take no damage here. That's what I love to see. That's what I want to keep doing. And every shot's a crit, I guess. So I keep dealing damage to the damn thing. If I could get over 30, I would feel safer. Of course, Skultimate's going to work against that. It's interesting, though, isn't it? Okay, take the heal. I'm over 30. I can keep doing this. Probably take the crit over the refresh. Just to be safe. Okay, it's still not winding up to shoot me. I'm still gonna discard anyway. Doesn't the thing not fire if there's nothing in front of it? What if I just try simply to not kill the guy in front? It's not gonna crit right now. What if I just send it over the side? It's not gonna shoot. It did shoot. Oh, and it hurts its own dude. Oh, fuck. That's not how that worked. I... Oh, definitely misremembered how that works. Crap. Is there like an order to this guy's shooting? 
Like, is there a pattern or is it just he shoots when he feels like? I don't remember. I, I thought it was semi-random. Like, there's a range of when he can shoot. I might be wrong, though. Definitely need a refresh, though. There we go. Big. Okay, I could probably still win, though. Things are looking up because next shot should probably just kill him. Yeah, next shot always kills. Talk about cutting it close. All right, now I don't have to worry that I'm back to full. Upgrade, sure, to max, why the hell not? Now I don't have to think about this anymore. Now I do admit, how is this build supposed to help against the bosses? I don't know, but it's, it's kind of funny. Consuming chalice could be okay. Too bad I'm not really going for many crits. I don't really want to seal conviction either because I like just thinning through my deck. Actually, if I can get rid of one more orb, then can't I just discard or reload again and again and again? I guess I can, huh? Here's what's up. I'm going to take Consuming Chalice. There's still plenty of refreshes on the board, yeah? And they'll move after every shot. Yeah, this is fine. The other ones have actually a bit of a bit of a downside kick. Oh, it's the Minesweeper boss. I'll get my revenge by reloading on him. The fool won't know what's coming. Uh, but now I want to go Dag Orb here. Bounce into the crit, please. There I go, enough. Yeah, that'll do it. And now I don't want anything ever again, except the shop. And I do see a shop here, so it is gonna happen. My dreams are gonna come true. Okay, I did take damage during the in-between screen. It would be very funny if I died to it. I mean, I don't see how that could happen, but it would be very funny. I'll just shoot this one because it could pierce. Get them both, why don't you? Yeah, that'll do. Don't care. Now, I guess there is a chance I don't make it to the shop. I guess there's a backup shop. So here's the plan, okay? I want to shoot most of the pegs out from the right side. Just so I can have a clear path to the right when I want to exit. Seems reasonable, I think. Wait, I should really be reloading. Yeah, yeah reload a bit. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe take a piercing. Nice. Okay, whatever whatever happens, happens here. Crit would have been good, though. Take a reload. I don't have a real game plan right now. It's just get rid of the enemy eventually. That's the game plan. Maybe I should really take better advantage of the crit whenever I get a chance. There we go. That's a crit. You dead yet? Cool. I'm fine. I'm HP. Anything good here? When an enemy is defeated, refresh the board. Uh, previously thrown bombs can be refreshed. Deal double damage when my health is low. Interesting. So I would get another double from Wand. Meh, who doesn't hate insurance? Because that's what this is. And take me to the shop. Well, now I can just heal infinitely. So actually, maybe I shouldn't have taken the insurance. Let's thin. What do I thin here? I mean, Ice Circle has a very high crit. I mean, Dagorb is even higher. I guess it might be nice to have one of each for variety. No, but then I lose the benefit of the hero's backpack. Yeah, Hero's Backpack actually buffs the Ice Circle, so you know what? I am going to lose a Dag Orb. I did forget about Hero's Backpack a little bit. I haven't been thinking about that. I think I'll start thinking about that now. And that just means shooting the first of the two Ice Circles. It's basically all it means. Do I want anything here? I mean, there's another shop up ahead I could try to get things from. Yeah, I bet the other shop has better stuff than Basic Blades. I'm just hoping it has a lot of relics that I actually want. So that's the plan. Just go down question mark, shop to the right... It's a done deal, but now, if I get a fight, I'll be able to showcase cool stuff. Whoa. Ah, oh, what the hell is this? Randomly move half my orbs, or plus orbs. No, I don't want a plus orb, that's bad. Of course, randomly removing half my orbs isn't so great either. I then lose the backpack buff. Well, honestly, good thing I removed the dag orb then. So now at least I have the orb I wanted. Okay, I got a one orb deck. Well, now I can take one orb. And actually, maybe I want the elite fight. You know, it gets me a free relic. It could take something cool. It seems to be a new event, though. I definitely don't recognize that one. Okay, question mark it is. <laughs> I should have gone way further left, I think. Just to try to force it. 
Whoa, okay. Uh, because I can heal infinitely, I don't care about this. Minus 16 HP. Not a big deal. All right, now it's important that I end up going to the right. I mean, the way this goes, it kind of forces me to the right. Yeah. Anything good here? Bombs that Nate one hit. Uh, blind at 10. I'm not sure, actually. I don't know how much I actually like bombs that in one hit because the Minesweeper boss, I think, has red bombs. I don't know. It seems like it would have red bombs, you know? Even though last time I faced it, I had turning regular bombs into red bombs. It just feels like it would have red bombs. So I don't want to risk it. And the whole point is that I get to the shop. I'm not going to remove my final orb. Unless if I get cheese, which I did not. Every reload grants plus two must circle. Now that's what I wanted to see. I mean, this is exactly what I wanted. I now have plus two plus zero for infinity and I don't need to do anything. I could take bully ball, you know, with wand synergy. That's self damage. Yeah, give me the bully ball. Let's get out of here. Give me a fight. Yes. So now we can show the true power. Discard, discard. Discard, discard. Discard, discard. Look at that. <laughs> infinite healing, infinite power. Look at me grow. Look at me grow. I can just keep doing this. It's over. It's GG. I can just farm the crap out of this. And I will. Because we're near the end of the game. Why don't I farm this like crazy? I'll see you in a bit. Once we start getting to absolutely absurd numbers. It seems like a good spot. <laughs> a hundred must circle. I did it. Found the broken combo. Let's send it. Oh, look at those numbers go. Wait, it's terrible if I crit. Thank God I didn't crit. I didn't think about what would happen if I crit. <laughs> well, it's all paid off. The whole point of thinning out my deck has finally come to fruition. I've gotten exactly what I wanted. This is why I made every decision I made. Now I just want to farm like crazy and absolutely annihilate everyone in my path. You know what? There's a forest boss. I think I, there's an achievement for killing one on the first turn, isn't there? How about I get it? No, I can't. The mole just doesn't show up because the plant's blocking. What an asshole. I mean, I could crit here and hope for the best. Yeah, this is the only chance I actually have at killing it first turn. It's technically possible, just unrealistic. Oh, it is realistic. How about that? I might have actually already gotten that achievement. And frankly, it doesn't matter. I'll just take the ring. None of this matters except the final boss. Oh, Minesweeper Peglin, I'm coming for you. I can't duplicate an orb. The one time where this is actually bad. You know what I should be doing? I should be upgrading my bully. Or whatever, he's just there. He's along for the ride. But you know what must be done. Do I think this will be enough? Gotta hope so. No! Come on! <gasps> Why does this happen to me? Why can't I just be happy? I've decided I'm gonna let you have your cake and eat it too. You get the satisfaction of watching me eat shit and die, and you get to see the satisfaction of seeing this build stack up against the final boss. Two in one, what's not to love? I basically just recreated the run using custom runs, thank god for that. And now I actually have the power to defeat this guy. Just a little bit more patience. I wanted to figure out how exactly this boss works, because this is my first time with the Minesweeper board. Does it just have a ton of bombs? No, it actually has some red bombs in here. And regular bombs. I want to do a little bit of a build up. Take a bit of damage now, he dealt one to me. But now, it's back and stronger. I'm gonna clear some other packs, you know, let's see what else there is. It appears that the, the red borders lead to the red bombs, which makes sense. And then I get a ton of packs. It's actually a ton of damage right now. I probably get to killing him. Yeah, how about I start doing that right now, actually? Uh, and by killing him, I mean super duper overkilling him. Let's be very specific. Oh, interesting. So when these dudes explode, red bombs show up. And I bet some red bombs show up in the hidden cells, too. 
So, you know, I bet if I had just decided to just start grinding this out in the beginning, there would be a ton of red bombs and I would die before we would get to see us do magnificent damage. Well, now I can build up the magnificent damage and I have a pathway to the bottom that doesn't involve too many red bombs, which is the path I will be taking. Oh good, he runs out of goons eventually, because that's a lot of red bombs. Wait, do they still keep coming? Oh, they still keep coming. Okay, I should probably attack him soon before all the pegs get overrun with red bombs. Yeah, let's see, this does 128 after the Wanda ultimate power. Maybe I should like stop having this ticking time bomb go. Yeah, let's just send it. That's a pretty good chunk of damage right there. Not enough to kill me. It's kind of scary though. No doubt. Well, I want to heal. Yeah, but that makes a ton of red bombs. Okay, but hear me out, right? I heal, and then I kill him with red bombs. I don't need to worry about pegs anymore. This is such a weird boss for it. It seems like the biggest number is actually up against, like, the mini boss. Funny about that. Yeah, it's like, I just gotta make sure I don't die from red bombs, and it's all good. And he's gotten stronger! He's got 24 attack power over his head. Something I neglected to notice in the past. I don't know how much he actually hits me for, but I'll, I'll chuck some bombs at him now. Oh, I saw a cool 400, 800, 1400 in there. That would have done it if he got to throw. Well, there you go. Next up should be a build where hopefully I don't die for some stupid reason, huh? Let's send it. 